guys, my name is Daryl. Today I want to show you some really cool pieces of equipment that are in my Vince's Gym Museum. Now one of the pieces you've seen, uh, this is the actual tricep extension machine that was in Vince's Gym. And I've displayed that in other videos that I've done. So I did a little more research on that. And the, that the actual piece of equipment was not designed by Vince. It was rumored that that piece was actually de de designed by Vince, but it wasn't. It was actually developed by Ed Jubenville from Holyoke, Massachusetts, who through the 60s and 70s and 80s, he was a equipment manufacturer and he did a lot of pieces that were very unique and a lot of it was for the home. So Vince actually had several pieces of Ed Jubenville's equipment in his own gym. I found this out because if you look at some of the pieces of equipment, Ed Jubenville would always put a stamp on and it would usually be underneath the, the seat or um, on the back side of the wood part of the machine and it would always have a stamp on it that would have Ed Jubenville and then Holyoke, Massachusetts and his phone number. And so I looked underneath the, I knew this was an Ed Jubenville piece and I looked underneath the, the machine and there was the, the actual the name and the uh, address. The rumor is that Vince had this machine in his gym and then Arthur Jones came to his gym, I believe, or this, this is what the rumor was, and um, it's believed that Arthur Jones saw this cam unit on this tricep machine. And if you look at the cam unit, you'll notice that it's exactly like the Nautilus machines. And so the Nautilus logo was the cam. It was believed that whether it was Arthur Jones or somebody that worked with Arthur Jones or whatever, but they kind of gave this idea and that's what prompted him to create Nautilus. It's a, it's a rumor. We don't really know if that's the, a true story or not, but it sounds pretty cool. But uh, anyways, the, the actual cam design was developed by Ed Jubenville in the 1960s. So whether Nautilus, Arthur Jones, kind of took the idea from that and built his empire or, or you know, or it's just a coincidence. But uh, that piece of equipment, I've only seen it in Vince's gym. And so now I actually have that piece. In my last video, I showed you the back extension Roman chair combo unit. Again, that, that was from the, the Ed Jubenville collection. If you look here in the catalog, you'll see that the tricep machine is, is displayed here. So that's the actual machine that, that I have that was actually in Vince's gym. And then uh, there are actually two other pieces similar to this that fall into what's called this, the Scorpio line of the Jubenville collection. So he had the, the Scorpio tricep machine, and then he had the Scorpio pec deck, and then the Scorpio pullover. And so once I got the, the tricep machine with, with all Vince's stuff, so I wanted to find other pieces from the Jubenville collection and I really wanted to have the, the trifecta. I wanted to get all three Scorpio machines. And it's taken me a long time to find these pieces, but I finally found them. And this past fall, I was able to get the, the Scorpio Peck Deck and the Scorpio Pullover Machine. And these are great pieces of equipment, great pieces of bodybuilding history. And I, I want to show you these pieces so that you can see what they look like. And, and uh, they're very simple designs, but they work very, very well. And so these are the three... Scorpio machines from the Ed Jubenville collection that are now in my Vince's Gym Museum. And so here we have guys, this is the actual tricep machine that was at Vince's Gym. And here's a great picture of Mohamed Makoui using it at Vince's. Um, it's a real simple design. And you can see the cam in it here. You see this big old cam. You know, that's the, the signature logo for Nautilus it was actually this cam. And so again, I don't know if this was actually if that, that rumor was true that someone actually took the idea when they came into Vince and saw this piece of equipment and said, wow, this is really fascinating, and they designed it themselves and then ended up making billions of dollars and calling it Nautilus. So I don't know if that's the actual story. So that if, if that is the story, you know, it's kind of interesting. And uh, Ed Jubenville, you know, probably should have got the royalties if that was the case, but I don't think anything ever happened through that, and, and Nautilus is now multi-billion dollar corporation. So the way you use it, you just grab the handles and then you just 
Go right down and look up. And so it's very similar to doing the the reverse dip on the dip stand. So you get that really deep contraction as you extend the arms. What's pretty cool is that Vince didn't have a lot of machines at his gym. This was really one of the only ones that he had like this and so it's a great piece of bodybuilding history. It's, um, it still works really well and it really isolates the triceps. So this is the Scorpio tricep machine made by Ed Jubenville. Now this next piece I have here in the corner, this is a Scorpio pec fly machine that was made by Ed Jubenville. Now this is 1960s. It's kind of a little bit rough and I was going to get it renovated but then I realized that this is the actual upholstery, the original upholstery from the 1960s. So it's, it's never been um, renovated. And so I kind of wanted to keep it like that just because it's the original. So I have to keep things as they were when I, when I find them. Um, sometimes I'll renovate them if, I, if it doesn't lose their, their original quality. So sometimes it's just a matter of reconditioning the leather. But this is a really cool basic machine, but back in the day this was really the, uh, you know, this was something else. And um, this again, this is 1960s, and it's a, it's a great piece of equipment, it still works really well. And there was a video put together a long time ago, and that showed uh, Kay Baxter using this type of machine. It was not in his gym though, it was in, other, it was in another gym, but a lot of the great bodybuilders of the day used to use this machine. So the way it works is you put your hands here and so you get a phenomenal stretch to begin with. So it sets up for the early phase loading. And so you're ready to go right from the start. And then as you exhale, you're just going to bring the, the arms in. So we, you, we've all seen this type of machine. You know, there's all kinds of modern machines like this. But the cool thing about this is that it's, it's, it works just as well as it did in 1960s you can get a phenomenal pump off this thing. And so, it's a very basic design. But man, it really gets it. It's just a great way to sort of flush the muscle after you do like your regular bench work and dips and so on. And so it really isolates and you can get a a really good pump off this thing and <clears throat> again it's just a very cool piece of equipment but they're nice and small so they can sit and fit right into your house uh, <clears throat> basement and so the great thing about these types of machines is that they're really sturdy they're well built they're very lightweight and they're very durable <clears throat> I can put up to 200 pounds on this with no problem and the cam unit again up here this is kind of like that, that idea that of the, uh, the tricep machine, that it has that cam that's going to help make the, the movement a lot easier. And again, kind of follows in line with that Nautilus idea. You know, it's a great piece of equipment. It's something I always use, and especially at the, at the end of the workout, when I just want to do a couple of flushing sets. And guys, this is the Scorpio Pec Deck that was designed by Ed Jubenville. And here's the third piece, and this one was a really tough find. But I eventually found it, and um, man, this is a, a gem. This is the, this is the 1960s Ed Jubenville pullover machine for the back. And I mean, the quality on this is absolutely magnificent. So they, the person who owned it before, I mean, it looks brand new. The, the upholstery looks absolutely stunning because it, you know, it still has its sheen. I don't know if they used it a lot or not, but it, it's in great condition, and um, it's a, it's just really it's a rare piece to find. And I was so excited when I got this, and again it was a, just a basic design, but I've seen other pullover machines like this, 
and I mean obviously the modern day ones are going to be a lot more uh, you know with better technology and and more comfortable and with pads and everything that you can rest your elbows on and whatever but this still really works well and it's something again I use just about every day I mean because it's just it's so much fun to use and so for this one you just reach up grab the handles and then you just pull right down and you can really feel the lats just grab hold of it and just Traction is fantastic. So it's just something different than just doing the regular pullover on a bench or doing the lap pull down. It just creates a whole different effect on the lats. And you're also going to get a little bit of the psoriasis anterior muscle group as well. And again, you can see that they have the big cam on the side here, and that, that really makes it smooth, and, and um, when you're pulling it down, there's no sticking points. It's an unbelievable piece of equipment. And so this stuff is just all well built and lightweight. You know, it's incredible. I don't know why they stopped making this stuff, but um, you know, I think it's a gold mine. I think these pieces of equipment are actually better than a lot of the modern day pieces. And I have a lot of those in my gym, which I've been showing you over the past couple of days, and I'll show you more of those. But I always sort of gravitate toward the old vintage stuff 90% of all my training is done on all the all this stuff in in the Vince's Gym Museum. Um, it's my favorite place to work out. It's my favorite equipment to work on. And you know, something like this, you know, might mean absolutely nothing to somebody else. But for me, it's it's like the holy grail of bodybuilding. All these pieces are are unique, and they're all my favorite pieces. You know, it's it's hard to say which one that I would single out as one of my favorites. Um, but I think they all are. You know, and the cool thing is, is when I'm using all this stuff, you know, it just, it's like making all this equipment come to life. And um, if this equipment could tell stories, I imagine there's a lot of guys that were using all this stuff but, uh, back in the day. And I love it. I love the vintage style. I love the old classic bodybuilders. I like that, that look much better than what they look like today. Um, I'm all about it. I'm all about the, you know, just the, the hard work that the simple machinery, but yet um, the biomechanical um, angles of all this stuff works really well. And, you know, it's just fun to be able to train the way they did in the 1960s and to create a body that looks like it came from the 1960s. So this stuff is really, you know, to me it's, it's, it means so much and I just have so much fun using it. And guys, those are the three machines from the Scorpio line of the Ed Jubinville collection. And very rare pieces. Um, I think you can still find some of these pieces if you dig hard enough on the internet. And if you do, you want to buy them. Because they're extremely rare, but they are very, very well built. And you're going to get tremendous results with it. I can't tell you enough how my physique has progressed using all this vintage equipment. If you have any questions, like to learn more about my online training or my books or my products, you can always visit me on my website at www.darylcanard.com. And guys, if you don't mind, subscribe to this channel so that you can be up to date with all the videos that I put out. I'd really appreciate that. I want to thank you very much for watching. Take care. See you next time.